of everything. Yeah. Uh, it's not Taskmaster, let's be honest. There's no, no way not. they make him in charge of the Red Room completely. No. <laughs> um, uh, Ross? Hmm? Could be, actually. Could be. I like him going because of the fact that if you stop and you think about it, if he wants... He has almost like hated the thought of the Avengers for so long, and he's wanted his own team. So he goes and he's like, fine, they won't give me my own team. I'll incognito hide my own team. And you never know. It could potentially, they could sit there and be like, well, the Red Hulk, he experimented on himself. And oh, yeah. it's creating a split personality and being able to sit there and be like, well, here you go. Like, we're moving forward. Ross didn't realize he's the one who's doing it, but he is the one who's doing it. I'm going to... That'd be cool. I could... If they were to take that direction, I wouldn't mind it. I'm going to go with a unexpected. I think it's going to be revealed to be the benefactor from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Oh. I think they're going to tie that around so in the future we can get that. And he was the one getting all the tech, trying to buy everything out. Because he wants all the pieces to click everything together. And maybe he's even been augmenting pieces of Taskmaster. So, mm. I mean... That's just my theory. I have nothing to go by, but I think they want to maybe... Tr if I was to tie it a little bit closer to some of the other franchises... He's the one uh, person oh, we know nothing about. Right, so you can make the benefactor anybody. I mean, for all we know, the benefactor can be Doctor Doom. Like, we don't know, because yeah. that's like a mystery character. It's just somebody funding, right? A benefactor. So it's like... But yeah, um, I don't know. Mitch, who do you think? I've got no idea. A lot <laughs> yeah. of people are saying Rachel Wise... Yeah. I think that's kind of obvious. Um, I wouldn't that's be surprised too... if it is. I mean, she's Iron Maiden in the comics. She's in this. She's playing yeah. the mother figure. It, it's too obvious, right? It's way yeah. too obvious. Like, it, that seems like... Like, here's the thing. You know, casual people. Even my dad seen a trailer and he was like, is is the, one, the woman from The Mummy the villain? I was like, okay, if you can figure this out, you don't read the comics or anything, even you're connecting dots that I don't think they want connected, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just... Yeah. It's, 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 it's way too obvious. And the it fact is. that they've made Red Guard... You know, Red Guard is not necessarily a good person in mm -hmm. the comics. But, you know, they're playing him off like he is here. It's... it's uh, I don't know. It's... Whether we had, like... Because it's weird. If you haven't seen... Like who's actually behind it in the trailers? It'll be a bit of an odd reveal. Yeah, because like, you all you always get the the person who's behind everything in the trailer. Always. Right, always. And but, if you sit there and you look though, the this past trailer was the only trailer that told you that Taskmaster's controlling the Red Room. This was the first yeah. time he state they stated that. So it's like. Hmm. Mm -hmm. like obviously, they could very easily just make it so Taskmaster is in control of everything, which is a bit of a step up for Taskmaster because he's just a merc. But right, I feel like it could possibly be the benefactor, just being like, "Here, I'm going to supply you with all this money. You have control, but you talk to me." Yeah, like that would actually, or like I said, Ross. Like, I just think Ross would make sense. Like, imagine if it this was is where it's Ross. Eric O'Grady and they do Black Ant and give me. Taskmaster and Black Ant. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. Not that Eric O'Grady's been anywhere in these trailers, but <laughs> No. Well that's because he's tiny. <laughs> Mitch, he's been there the whole time. I it's love when they true. went retrofitting yeah. Ant Man into so, scenes. There like we go. That. Well so yeah. Well uh, who do you guys think Taskmaster's gonna turn out to be and who do you think the uh mystery I guess behind everything is going to be. Uh, let us know, because that, that's both big mysteries in this film. Who's behind the mask and then the invisible, I guess, string pulling? I mean, the mask is clearly the one dude that was at San Diego that we haven't actually seen. Oh, totally. Film at all. Totally. <laughs> but. Just like, mm -hmm. Who's he going to be in general? They're going to reveal that's Norman Osborn. Mm. No. 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 Just a head in a jar under the mask. Oh, Artsy, I hate you! <laughs> <laughs> 